All right, <clears throat> so finally listen to this shit, trying to watch the goddamn game. Patriots seem to not know what the fuck they're doing, but we up one touchdown. Anyway, Rick Ross, Renzel Remix is this one. Now, this shit threw me off because when I found out it was two discs, I'm like, first thing I think is like, wow, he's trying to be like the drought three. <sighs> Oversaturating the market before your album come out, which drops Friday. But anyway, you know, it opens up with Chuck D. I think I like the Chuck D., um speech that he had I thought that was pretty dope I was like wow you know that's pretty deep pretty decent you know what I'm saying he actually said some real things on that joint and then we get to the devil in a new dress ain't that his verse from Kanye uh album I was like wait what is this like what whatever then they go to flashing lights I fuck with that I thought that was fair I was cool tears of joy I'm like wait ain't this off Teflon Don huh I, I don't why you I don't know like so I didn't I didn't feel like going through the whole song because I'm like, yo, if that's just Tears of Joy, I heard that's off the album. So, whatever. Then it goes to Hello featuring Adele. I had listened to that. I enjoyed his verse. It totally does not fit into the song, though. But I like his verse. I thought it was cool. 30 for 30. You know, it still didn't grow on me after I thought it would, but it didn't. So I was like, damn, that kind of sucks. You know what I mean? But if it ain't better than original, it is what it is. Getting to Amazing, I thought that was a fair song. I think that's an original song, too. I could be wrong, but I love the soulful background vocals. He talking that talk on there. I like that jazzy beat. You know, I thought that was dope. Run, nigga, run, run, run. Fuck, tackle, dumbass. Anyway, going into track seven, um, Dirty White slash Make Him Say, huh. And I was like, I thought I read it wrong. I'm like, ain't this Master P beat? And then you listen to it, and it's like, oh, he took the uh out to pick, huh. And I was like, all right, no, I'm not fucking with it. In the club featuring 50 Cent, just the fact that he got on a Dr. Dre beat that was a 50 Cent song, I thought that was pretty bold. I was like, I fuck with it. I like it. It wasn't as bad, you know what I mean? One of Us featuring Nas. Uh, this is the original song that's, I think, going to be, it is going to be on this album. So I'm like, why are you giving away a free song? Like, you ruining your album. Like, nigga. What the fuck? But they did snap on that beat. Now, the funny thing I find about that song, y'all remember the line where he said, Oh, if if we find out that your chain got snatched, some some some, we should hear about it on the news the next day or some shit. Meaning if somebody he affiliated affiliated with got his chain snatched, that he needs to go back and kill that person. They need to be on the news. Yeah, gunplay. We know got his chain taken. That happened to Fifty. So I thought that shit was hilarious. I literally dropped my phone, and started dying laughing. But it is what it is. Again, to work featuring Meek Mill and Wale, and I tweeted this out. That this is the MMG that I love. This is reminds me of Self Made One. Don't know how old the song is. You feel me? Don't know when they had it. But all three of these niggas went in that motherfucker and did their thing. Meek, that's the aggression you should have had. I'm listening to this shit like, why he wasn't like this at Drake? He had, If he was like this, he would have won. Like, it's too late now, but you know what I mean? Then it's like, okay, if this is a new song, I'm trying to listen to see if Meek gonna jab Wale or Wale gonna jab Meek. But it wasn't really like that, but it came out to be a dope record. Number one stunner, just more stories of his past Scarface life, Tony Montana shit, whatever. But then he did give a shout-out to Paris, you know what I mean? So shout-out to Paris, you know what I mean? But Jumpman and Stick Talk, eh, whatever. You know, I didn't really give a fuck about those songs. I mean, this one is cool, but it ain't all that. On to this too.